Snail! Snail! <sighs> Are you okay? Got hit by this metal ladder. Someone gave me a ladder uh, to use as a planter and I couldn't even put it anywhere. I've got a new garden bed for babies, succulents, set up in here. I got this one on a uh, discontinued sale for a dollar 23 why a dollar 23 is that what they paid for it but normally <laughs> it's about 60 bucks I think before look at uh, Douglas Hart oh you're beautiful I am propagating a lot of these halbin jerry so there's actually three types of halbin jerry that I've got so far and this is one of them. Oh, is that baby there? So that is Graptopytum supreme. That's crested and variegated. Oh, look at that. Cute. Cremnocetum little gem is flowering. I've had one of these Cremnocetum for about a couple of years. It is just so slow. So I went and bought another one and this is my second Cremnocetum and this is only about a year old and it's growing fast. So when you find a succulent or your baby is not growing, then it's probably time to get another one because you might have a dud strain. I call it a dud strain, which uh, a sterile strain or a strain that wouldn't put out babies. Now this one needs cleaning up so I have to take advantage of the weather when it's like this look blue skies so which means it will have time to dry up but then again there's another storm cell coming again so I think the next two days so we'll have a break of a couple of days and it'll come back again uh, this my leaf grown lilacina and they are so pink they are just pink and it's flowering those one two three four five those and then even that one here that uh, are all pink and this one is sort of blue even the the flower so this one has got more green and aphids <laughs> and that one is more pink so look at that so I do like to get different strains. So they're all Lilacina, but then if there's a variance in the look or the look vary, then people tend to call it a different name, which is just disgusting, I reckon, just so they can sell more. Same plant can have different looks. Okay, there goes the dislike, dislike. <laughs> so. It doesn't matter. I'm here to give information to my experience. So other people's experience might not be so. Echeveria topsy-turvy. Look at this. They are one of the easiest, hardiest plant I've grown. The first year I've had it, I only have issues with it in frost. Frosty areas, if you get frost, then they are quite sensitive, a little bit sensitive to the frost, but they do survive because I have them out in the open, growing out in the open, and they're a prolific grower. When they flower, sometimes I haven't got one that's flowering at the moment, but even when they flower and they have leaves on the stem, then I would even take the leaves from the stem and just throw it in here and they would grow. And then look, look how many babies are in there. That's crazy. Look, and you just take the babies uh, a bit bigger I prefer to take them a little bit bigger than that look smaller a small maybe about this size but this is already a baby that I pulled out and look at it it's just beautiful and another one see there's another baby or that was a baby look the big stem that I pulled out and look at all the dry leaves that has to be removed and cleaned up there you go but they're very easy to grow i don't even have the need to chop the head off and grow them because they are prolific grower they just need to be left alone 
and put them in uh, a pot bigger than their normal size so to give them room to grow and when they outgrow that small pot get them to a bigger pot like this one I had it in a small 17 centimeter pot before now this is on the 23 centimeter or 25 centimeter pot and terracotta and they're just loving it so no problem and boo. Ciliosum subspecies borisii. I love this plant. Look at it. Look at it. Who doesn't love that hairy little thing? But the center of it uh, is dying. This is monocarpic, which means it's going to die once it's uh, flower, but then not after putting out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven babies. So from one plant, now we've got seven babies. So it doesn't matter. And then you get to enjoy the flower. This one is Sempervivum or Hoviverva. I think this one is called, and then that one is a grass. I need to pull it out. Okay, never mind, it broke off. Semper V. But they do have different looks. But every now and then, the Georgia Row one is very similar to uh, Winter Red. But Winter Red's got a bit more hairier. And I find they like to be in a healthy soil, but also free draining so maybe a lot of pumice i haven't tried putting uh, using pumice on them yet so uh, that's one experiment i have to do look how beautiful that one is what are you called hang on so this is sempervivum pink puff i can't i don't know what i'm filming at the moment but anyway and then this one i really need to so that one is purple shadow semper v and oh orostaki those are my variegated orostaki, orostakis, beautiful plant. Four and a half months later, look how much this baby has grown, or not. See, it's still small, but, so I need to pull it out and put it in a pretty pot. So, amongst all that halbingeri, we're going to extract this beauty here. So it's still variegated, so you can see that's still got a variegated leaves and over there as well, they're still variegated. So anyway, so grab to Python Supreme Oopsie Variegata Cristata Crested and Variegated. Are you still crested? We don't know. I'm gonna do this gently. There you go. I'm gonna shake off the soil without getting the other ones dirty. So there you go. So it's still sort of crested. You see the cresting from this one? And look at that variegation. Oh my goodness. Oh okay there's another plant that's grown on the side there but anyway I'll take this so this is my little bowl that I've chosen to put up our variegated graptophytum variegated and crested sorry so I just put my little mesh there and so I'm using my big pieces of granite okay just so it stabilizes our little mesh and it doesn't go all over the place, okay? Now I put my soil and then there you go, sort of just leveling it off and then I'm gonna make a hole in the bottom because this one's got roots. No need to dry, no need to dry your eyes. Rosemary Blue, <laughs> just a song like that, anyway. Dry your eyes. I don't. I'm just gonna start singing again. <laughs> okay. What did I do? Okay. I'll do it again. Okay. So I'll just just a hole, and then we wriggle, wriggle our fingers, so just to help the roots, and then. Okay. Now see how it's sort of flopsy. This is what you do. Hang on. So now, because this thing is very flipsy, flopsy, what I like to do... Oh, look, I lost some leaves already. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, we'll put you aside. And I'm going to put 
some of my granite. Okay. These are just sort of bigger pieces or bigger size. Put it around and then See, it's already standing up. There you go. Now, I'm going to put this pretty little quartz here, but before I do that, I'm going to put some smaller pieces of granite or rocks, whatever you have, some top dressing all the way around. There you go. Doesn't matter if we make a mess on my wheelbarrow of soil because that can all go back into this all mix. No harm done. Now I'm gonna put say one of these little pretty pretty there you go probably that's it. Uh, crystal do you have another crystal? So these ones are probably too big although it's pretty in it. So I'll put maybe this one. Any rocks will do. Crystal whatever you have Hang on, I don't think that it will fit, but anyway, I'll make it fit over here, that side. Uh, okay. Now, so, and there you go. So that's it. It's finished. And I got my variegation showing, and those three pieces of leaves will put it somewhere sort of hiding there. So it can still grow, and hopefully... It will turn variegated and it's a bit bare at the front here so I'm going to put my little money froggy. There you go. All done. That's it. Beautiful. Now I'm going to put you. Oh, by the way, watering. I am not watering it for another week because the soil is still fairly moist. You can sprinkle it with water or spritz it just to get rid of dust or you can blow it away. Hang on, just a little bit, one black dust dirt. <sighs> okay, gone. <laughs> so now this one now, I can put this away. And since it came from the shaded area, I have to put it back in a, not put it back there, but put it somewhere a little bit shaded. Like, see this spot here that I prepared earlier. Hang on, Wah, heavy. See, told you it's heavy. So now we go put that back. Come back, come back. Okay, so that one, that way, that's pretty over there, okay? Because this thing will grow and you won't even see that rock. So now I'm just going to put this over in the corner there. So it's still getting a fair bit of light, but not that much light. So anyway, my Hermes here is already going there so I'm just rearranging things around putting pretty pots everywhere and this one came from my 50 zone you've seen this in my other videos but my icy green is looking so gorgeous oh my goodness it's so delicious look at that huh looks beautiful and my bluebird which I had chopped before can go in there and this one my Krasula Morgan is not looking very well, but it doesn't matter. So, needs water. That's all really dry, and there's something going on. There's little rusty things on them, but there's new growth. See? New growth coming up, so I'm not going to even worry about that. So, I'll just put it there, and that's it. Clean up the cobwebs and do all sorts of these different things that I have to do. <laughs> but anyway, and that's it. Okay, I'm going to go have a cuppa now.